Hi guys, my name is Majid and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Dell's new 4K monitor, the P2815Q. Now what's special about this monitor is it's very consumer friendly price, it's very affordable uh, and it does full 4K. So we actually have it in the box so we're just going to do a quick unboxing and show you guys what it actually looks like. So Dell's known for good packaging, they actually just make their packaging for shipping. So it's nothing special but let's just get straight into it. All right, so as you guys can see, it's pretty much all industrial style packaging. Uh, let's just, let me just take some of the stuff out. So the first thing we have is a uh, cover for the back. We'll look at the accessories in a little bit of a closer fashion later, but uh, just starting from the top, we have a few cables. This is for your display port, and then you have a USB cable for the monitor. So it most likely has USB connections inside. It has the included power cable for the monitor, standard power cable. So I'm just going to put the monitor aside to what it comes with and then we'll get to the monitor. Okay, so it also comes with a driver install CD, which you may or may not need, and then some instructions on how to set up the monitor. And lastly, the most important piece is the included stand. All right, so taking a look at the stand, you get a fully configurable stand. It has swivel, tilt, and height adjustment, so you can position the monitor any way you like. But uh, let's get straight to the monitor. So as you can see, uh, I have the monitor right here without the stand. I'm just going to take off the cover to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, it is a 28 inch monitor and it's fairly light. As you can see, I can grab it with one hand, uh, not a problem. So if you guys are thinking that it's a very bulky, heavyweight monitor, it's actually very lightweight and very thin. So it's kind of nice and it looks very, very nice when you look at it. Let's just go ahead and put it on the stand, show you guys what the whole deal looks like. So if you're wanting to attach the monitor to the stand, they actually make it very, very simple. All you have to do is insert the two pins into the holes, align them and then snap it in. So there you go, that's it. All right guys, so taking a look at some of the connections at the bottom of the monitor, we have four USB uh, ports, three on the direct bottom and then one on the back. Uh, and then we have another USB uh, cable connector right here. And basically what that does is it gives these four USBs the power so you can actually connect in your devices. Uh, we have next to that a display port out in order for you to be able to send a video signal to any other source that you want to. Uh, we have an HDMI in, a mini display port in, a regular display port in, and of course uh, audio out in order for you to send your audio to speakers if you have external speakers. And then on the very right, we have the power adapter connection. It's just a regular three pin power connection. And on the very, very right, we have another, um, it's more of a lock for your monitor in case you wanna have it for theft reasons or security. It has that capability right there. And that's pretty much it for ports. So another thing at the bottom of the monitor, we have some uh, connections right here for the available sound bar you can buy from Dell. It'll connect right here and give you some audio. That's most likely what this connection in here is for, but you can also use that for any other speakers that you have. And other than that, there's pretty much nothing on the monitor than the power uh, button that you actually turn the monitor on with. So we'll get more into it and show you guys the overall look. All right guys, so let's take a look at some of the specifications of the monitor. It's a 28 inch monitor with an anti-glare coating at the front. Uh, it's a matte coating unlike the reflective coatings that some of the monitors have. So it's actually a very nice monitor. Uh, internally, it's powered by a TN type panel. Uh, it has a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. And the interesting thing about that is when you're running it at that full resolution, it only runs at 30 hertz. Now that's another reason for the low price point of the monitor. It's not as high performing as the Ultra Sharp series, which can go up to a full 60 hertz on that resolution. But if you do bring the resolution down to 1080 or maybe even a little bit higher than that, you'll be able to run it at 60 hertz. But then again, if you're getting this monitor, you probably want to run it at 4K. So just a thing to think about when you actually do purchase this monitor. In terms of the contrast ratio, it has 
a 1001 typical contrast ratio and a response time of five milliseconds, which is pretty normal in terms of these workstation like monitors that you're gonna be using in war applications rather than gaming. So you're not gonna be seeing those one millisecond or two millisecond response time on these kind of monitors. So it's definitely pretty nice, the five milliseconds. So in terms of the viewing angles, you have a 160 degree vertical and 170 degree horizontal uh, viewing angle that you can actually look at the image without it distorting too much that you can't make it out what it is. Now, in terms of the backlight technology, it is using an LED backlight technology, which means that the monitor is actually very thin and light and very, very low in terms of power consumption. You can turn this monitor on and use it throughout the day without having to worry about how large your electricity bill is gonna be, which is actually really nice. Now, we talked about the ports earlier, and the interesting thing is it actually has a built-in uh, USB 3.0 super speed hub, which powers four USB ports that are at the back. Now, the interesting thing is the ones that are at the bottom are just the regular USB 3.0 super speed ports but to give you one on the back of the monitor which is uh, interesting because you can use that for powering your phones or any tablet that you have it has a 1.5 amp charging port built into it so you can actually use that to charge your devices which is very nice um, in terms of mounting the monitor if you ever want to mount it for a mounted setup it has a vase mount included at the back and the monitor itself only weighs 11.4 pounds so it's actually not very heavy considering how big the monitor actually is all right guys so that's basically it thank you for watching our video if you liked it make sure to add it to your favorites and share if you can it helps us out quite a bit also we have a facebook page where we post all our latest uploads so if you want to check that out and like that you'll be updated in all our videos so thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time